My name is Mando. Today I'm doing the Draw This in Your Style challenge. One day, I went to fetch water from a spring. It's located by a pilgrim path that stretches from my hometown across the country and all the way to Norway. I didn't have to walk quite that far, but it was still a nice long walk through the woods. On my way, I had a lot of time to think and I thought about the fact that I never did the draw this in your style challenge. And at this time, it felt like I was too late. The very same day, Tady Moons put up her challenge on Instagram, saying just the same thing. Not only was the timing right, but I'm also a patron of hers and I've just won one of her monthly patron rewards. I didn't even think about it, I just went home and started painting. The reward I won was a custom painting and I sent her a bunch of pictures and told her she could do whatever she wanted and I can't wait to see what she'll make. I'm still not completely confident when it comes to watercolor, but that's kind of what I love about it. That's why I fell madly in love with the kind of abstract art I do as well. To not know exactly how the finished result will be is so exciting. Watercolor keeps surprising me and that makes it so fun. I don't think I have a style though, but I guess I do since I tend to paint a certain kind of face in a certain kind of way, and I do have a fondness for these bluish greens. I guess I just don't identify so much with one style since I love so many art forms and disciplines and I love to try new things. This painting feels very much like me though, but with a twist. The original is linked in the description and it looked quite different, but even if I changed some elements, like the ears, I try to keep the important stuff. The thing I changed the most is probably the horns, because I don't think I've ever drawn horns like the ones in the original and I've drawn a lot of horns in my days. I think these ones drew my piece more into the realm of fantasy in which I feel most at home. But again, I didn't put much thought behind it, I just drew the sketch for the joy of drawing it. I tried to keep the distinct different values of the face, but I don't think I really got there. I don't know if it's my cheap paint that lacks pigment or if it's me being too careful. I guess it has to do with me trying to learn when a painting is finished.
one of the best things I have ever heard was an artist who said, I know a painting is finished when I'm scared of losing a feeling I've captured. I've thought about that a lot and I think I finally get it and I stop when I feel like things are just going downhill. The contrast of the original wasn't quite there yet, but I love the lightness of mine, so I decided it was finished and I drew on her tattoos with ink. I love when artists integrate their signature within a piece and Teddy Moons does that just masterfully. I usually hide my signature somewhere within the composition, but here I did like her and I signed it right on top of the image. Thank you for watching, I have a lot of plans for future videos, so if you want to see that, please subscribe and I see you later.